The annual APS March meeting provides an exciting atmosphere to share new discoveries, establish new networks, and contribute to the expansion of human knowledge. March meeting chair Paul Chaikin has been hard at work planning for the week and joined us right now in the studio with a preview of what's in store. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us this morning. We're finally here. How does that feel for you? Well, seeing the crowds and stuff coming in from the airport is great. This is my 55th March meeting, <laughs> and uh, the crowds haven't dimmed in those, in those years. And if anything, they're more exciting. Can you give us a, a flavor of some of the work that's gone into planning for the week? Well, we had to um, wait for the Nobel Prize announcements to happen, and then luckily, as it turns out this year, we had the physics prize, which was a natural for this meeting, but also the chemistry prize had a lot of physics in it. And indeed, what was amazing is the Peace Prize went to a former Sakharov Prize winner from APS, a physicist. You mentioned that the crowds have not dimmed over your years here. We're expecting 13,000 attendees. They're bigger, <laughs> but the growing. excitement is there. <laughs> That's wonderful. So with that many people expected here in Minneapolis this week, what can they expect? What do you have in store for them? Well, the main thing, as I say, is, is just going to be the presentations of, of young, especially young, new physicists talking about the discoveries. That's always the most exciting, but we've prepared an additional program that's really exciting. This afternoon, we have a Nobel session honoring the, the Nobel Science and also the Peace Prize winner. And on Thursday, we have the Kavli uh, session, which this year is on far from equilibrium physics, from cosmos to, to cells, to the kitchen, to quantum. Um, so covers a vast range, um, even what cooking is like in your home. We have a play uh, on Wednesday on Lisa Meitner, uh, who didn't get the Nobel Prize that she deserved to share with Otto Hahn. Um, so it's going to be an exciting week all I'm around. Looking, I'm looking forward to that kitchen part that you referenced. <laughs> We're talking chocolate, Stephen. You're talking um, chocolates. You know, this is also a very exciting year. We need to point out that this is the 125th anniversary of APS. Have you incorporated that milestone into the program at all? Indeed, that's we, what we used to get our great speakers in. We said you're <laughs> going to be presenting at the 125th anniversary. And it's a great time to look forward to what the next century is century and a quarter is going to hold in store for us. So we've been coming to this March meeting now for over 10 years and you've been coming for 55 years. Yes. So what is it that brings people back year after year to the March meeting? Well, it's the new discoveries. There's, there's, by the middle of the week, you'll hear a buzz in the halls of what people have decided, you know, is really the hot new items discovered this year. But I could even hear some of it coming in, on the, on, uh, coming in from the airport. People were really excited, you know, talking with each other and terrific. It's been great chatting to you. And thank you ever so much for taking the time to do that. And we're really looking forward to the week. So thank you. It will be a great week.